Good morning. Hello, I'm Tom Butcher of the Zero Project, and I'm here today with Bernd Schramm of GIZ. Bernd, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, perhaps before we address the issue of engagement with GIZ for a more inclusive world, you can tell us a little bit about GIZ. Yes, uh, thank you, Tom. Thank you for having me here. Yes, my name is Ben, and I'm working for GIZ. GIZ is a German development agency. Uh, we are an international service provider for sustainable development. We work in uh, different fields of international cooperation in uh, 120 countries in the world, so it's quite a large organization. And in the field of disability inclusion, um, uh, we are commissioned by our German government, by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development to make international cooperation more inclusive to persons with disabilities. So we are commissioned um, uh, with a global project, we call it a global project or global program on disability inclusion. And it has basically three uh, work streams. One is um, to advise the ministry, give political advice, also operational support uh, to the ministry, how to address this topic. For instance, uh, Germany is hosting the Global Disability Summit, the next Global Disability Summit in 2025. Right. So we are also supporting the ministry in uh, this exciting journey together uh, with uh, Jordan and the International Disability Alliance. That's very exciting. Yep. Um, we are also supporting the Ministry in monitoring uh, the uh, portfolio of inclusive projects and programs so that uh, the Ministry also you know, um, um, has an overview of how many programs actually tackle disability inclusion. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and many, many other uh, activities for the ministry. But we also do, in addition to this policy advice, we also support uh, the, we support operational activities in a number of countries um, um, uh, in the global south, uh, in different areas here. And uh, we focus particularly on digital skills and digital innovations, where we have very exciting partners, um, um, you know, to... Uh, where we work a lot with the private sector um, um, to, yeah, to train um, persons with disabilities uh, for uh, digital jobs um, and foster digital innovations, also in, uh, in, in a competition uh, which, we, um, um, which we set up uh, two years ago um, and, 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 and launched with ATOS. Uh, Great. And one, is our, one of our partners. Thank you so much. And can you till, tell us a little bit more, um, the first question I have to ask you, which is really um, your role as head of the global project uh, on the inclusion of persons with yeah. disabilities. Yeah. I think people would be really interested in, in how you do it as the head of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, we have a team of uh, about 50, 15 people. Um, uh, most of them are um, based in Germany, but uh, also uh, we have uh, staff in Africa and Asia. Um, and we cooperate a lot with our programs on the ground uh, in these countries because, uh, as I said, uh, German, uh, GIZ is working in 120 countries, so a lot of countries are working on the ground. And... Um, um, we also give them advice uh, how to address the topic of disability inclusion in different topics in different areas, whether it's access to health, access to education, whether access to the labor market, uh, also the collection of disability data. It's also uh, um, an area which we support in three countries. You know, and, and my role is, um, um, yes, to, to, to coordinate uh, this program, um, uh, to lead the team. Uh, and uh, to liaise also uh, with the Ministry uh, of uh, Economic Cooperation and Development, our commissioning party. That's my role. Great. Thank you very much. My goodness me, you obviously encompassing, uh, encompassing a very great <laughs> deal. So, um, you mentioned your partners. Um, who are your partners and what kind of partners are you actually looking for in, in, in your quest? Yes. 
Yeah, actually, we, we work with uh, all kinds of uh, stakeholders. I mean, GIZ is a state-owned enterprise. Um, um, uh, so um, our mandate is um, uh, to implement projects uh, that are officially um, 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 negotiated and agreed upon yeah. with a, a partner country. So it's on the government side. Um, um, uh, but we also cooperate a lot with the civil society, with the private sector, also with academia, actually all uh, stakeholder groups. And that's also important for us to bring stakeholders together. I think this is a, a large role we also play to facilitate processes uh, and bring different stakeholders together in partnerships, in alliances, because nobody, nobody can do the job uh, alone. We have to work together and we have to connect each other. Great. Um, and can you 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 you, you um, mentioned perhaps looking for partnerships? When you want to go into a partnership, what what are the kind of criteria that you look at when seeing whether there's a match between yourselves? Yeah. We particularly look at partners that foster innovation. Um, I think that's that. that that's very important mm. for us that foster innovation and of course also share the same values as us um, um, who are interested in the field of disability inclusion. Um, but innovation is uh, for us very important because we see that um, developments, um, conventional, let's say conventional approaches take a very, very long time uh, to work. So I think we really we, we, we really have to change uh, the world and bring in, uh, also utilize uh, the new technologies, um, which I think um, have a great benefit for persons with disabilities. Bring them in, uh, bring in also digital companies into the process um, and um, yeah, connect, uh, connect uh, different stakeholders. I think we have to be really quicker. Uh, the UN uh, Convention on the Rights of Persons with mm. Disabil Disability is already uh, is already more than a decade old, and we see that we are still struggling with basic uh, questions of access um, uh, to, I mean, uh, basic services. Uh, so I think we really have to be quicker. We have to utilize uh, uh, innovations and technologies, and that's uh, a field where we really like to engage with partners, uh, with different partners. Um, yes. Great. Thanks so much. I'm, I'm going to come back, if we have time, to chat with you about the whole issue of traditional and innovat innovative. But my last question is, before we go back to that, is um, what can you, uh, GI said, offer organizations working in the field of disability? Yeah. GIZ is a technical agency, so um, um, we like technical exchange and we like to exchange with uh, everybody who is interested in this topic. Um, we have also set up a disability inclusion network, yeah. um, uh, first uh, within GIZ, but we are expanding this now to the global community. We host events uh, as well. We, we, we like to engage uh, on technical issues. Right. Um, that, that, that's one thing. Um, but as I said already, we, we also like to bring partners together and facilitate uh, 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 processes. I can give you some examples. Um, Please in, do, in yeah. Kenya, in, in, in Kenya, for instance, one of uh, our um, 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 one of our um, yeah really uh, um, um, lighthouse projects is a, a, a digital skills uh, training center, which mm. we uh, implement together with Sightsavers, Cisco, and uh, Safaricom, yeah. so private partners, NGO partners, uh, also uh, DPO um, um, is involved, and uh, DPO Umbrella Organization. Um, and uh, um, this really helps uh, uh, um, many, many uh, persons with disabilities to find qualified job qualified job in the digital industry, uh, in the mobile uh, sector. Um, and this is only possible by bringing in different stakeholders uh, together, yeah. um, uh, because um, you, you, you have to build the ecosystem um, around the digital skills training. You have to connect to businesses um, and, 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 and also support the transition to the labor market. Training as yeah. such is not enough. Um, right. um, we, we also have to help um, um, our students uh, to get a job afterwards. Right, excellent. Um, before we go on and I, we talk a bit more about digital and uh, innovation, uh, 
could you just explain to the people who are watching us a bit about Safaricom? You yes. mentioned the name. I know what it is, but I'm afraid they probably don't. A big mobile, uh, mobile service provider in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I think one, one should add that they've been at the forefront of um, yes. bringing uh, telephony and digital world together exactly. in, in West Africa. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, so you work with the really big mm. partners. Um, there, those are some, some, some impressive names. <laughs> um, so, as you've learned from Bernd, there's this whole issue of um, networking, which, as you know, is what we do here at the, um, at the Zero, uh, Zero Project. I'd like to go back to that a bit, because it was very interesting you mentioning the fact that you bring um, academia together and, and universities together with the private sector, together with others. Can you tell us a bit more about um, the people with whom you've worked in the academic sector mm -hmm. and whether they are local universities or whether in fact they are um, universities based in Germany or, or how do you do that? Yeah. Yeah, we have a very nice uh, cooperation with the university uh, in Ghana and one university in Frankfurt. Right. Um, it's, um, 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 it's a university, uh, it's a collaboration between two universities which are supported by us and they have developed a really nice accessible handbook on inclusive uh, TVET institutions or technical vocational training institutions, right. uh, what is needed to make them inclusive uh, from an architectural point of view, but also um, uh, from, the, from the organizational setup um, of these training institutions. A very nice handbook which is going to be launched I mean, it, 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 it was already launched as a draft, but it's, um, uh, we are still working on it um, um, uh, uh, to bring it out as an accessible e-learning uh, uh, handbook. So this is, uh, this is something we have done. Uh, we have another uh, cooperation also in Ghana with another university in Accra uh, where we work on inclusive planning, uh, right. inclusive uh, local planning yep. mechanisms. Uh, it's also a partnership between a German university and a university in Ghana supported uh, by us um, yeah. to develop tools and instruments for local inclusive planning mechanisms. Yes. So um, uh, that's, uh, that's what I said. So we cooperate with both universities yep. in the south and uh, bring in also some German ex expertise here. Great. That's excellent. I mean, what, what is enormously encouraging to me, and I'm sure will be enormously encouraging to the people who are, are listening and watching us today, is the fact that you are actually, a, a, apart from just doing, you're creating the tools that other people can use going forward because I think in the past so often it's been a case of going in and then just going and then um, I can see we've only got a little bit more time uh, no well I'm not going to cut you off now um, but I just would be really interested if you could say a few words about how um, an organization which has been around for a long time um, how you successfully um, I won't say transition, but how you add innovation into traditional responses to problems and add innovation in there. Because so often, if you have a huge innovation, particularly a state, uh, sorry, huge institution, like a state institution, and you add innovation, sometimes it doesn't go very well together. So if you could just say a few very brief words. You mean within GIZ or in our? Oh program? no, no, any, any, uh, yeah, no, about yourself because mm. you've obviously been successful. Yeah. No, it. Uh, I mean, uh, it really depends on the partner. I mean, um, 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 uh, you need you need great partners to be successful <laughs> in this. Uh, um, and as I said, um, w w as GIZ, we cannot we, we cannot walk alone. Um, yeah. all, all all those uh, activities which I just briefly um, uh, presented, they are all done in cooperation with not only one or two mm. actors, but with several actors. And I think this, this is for me the key. Um, um, we are looking for partners that like to innovate, yep. uh, that like to engage and share also uh, their knowledge um, to develop, let's say, also um, open solutions, yep. uh, uh, or at least share, uh, share the knowledge. Um, 
and uh, yeah, and then uh, step by step, step we can also break traditional structure. But uh, it's taking time. Yes, I said we are. Uh, it's taking time, but the innovation and the technology can help us in getting faster uh, to what we all wish to see Great. in terms of. Um, equi equitable developments. Wonderful. Well, it appears you've been enormously successful, Bernd. And um, when you said that you went for the, the, the important partners, and I can see from who you've mentioned that you go with the hard-hitting partners. So, as a, as a trailblazer in the field, I particularly know about your work in, in, in West Africa. Um, I would like to say thank you very much indeed for sharing your time with this, me this morning. Um, wish you all the best at the Zero Project Conference. And um, in French, I'm afraid, bon voyage. And thanks so much, Bernd. Merci beaucoup, Tom. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me here. The pleasure's been mine.